Welcome back to Sailing NV, where we're refitting an Open 60, originally designed and raced in the Vendée Globe. One of our biggest jobs was to repair our 9 metre carbon fibre boom. In the last couple of videos we showed how we cut the boom in two pieces and then made a mould of the inside so we could build a sleeve, which we will now use to glue the two pieces of the boom back together. Our biggest worry was to not join the boom back together in a perfectly straight line. At the end of the last video, we show that the vacuum bag imploded during the lamination of the sleeve. That is a problem. And now we need to find one solution. They worked hard to resolve the situation. Let's see how the sleeve turned out. Quality carbon, mica so heavy, fuck you, so, so strong. Yeah, we have to maybe fit a little bit inside. preparing scaffolding to support the two sides of the boom in order to insert the sleeve. One of our biggest worries was whether we'd managed to glue it together straight, in a perfect line. Okay, here in front of the boom of uh, Sailing MV, we are ready to re-glue all together. We prepare one frame, one structure, scaffolding for uh, keep in position uh, the two elements of the boom. I remove uh, 
50 centimeter uh, profile boom, the parts with the delamination. And uh, we make uh, one sleeve and carbon fiber filler for be perfectly exactly the same form and uh, in a vacuum is approximately 5000 grams uh, of lamination of uh, epoxy carbon and now we go to re-glue all together with the west system 105 uh, with the other 206 uh, and the colloidal silica 9 to 12 is uh, one very hard uh, glue and that is only for keeping position the boom like you see inside the boom is one uh, structure of uh, very heavy bi-directional uh, carbon fiber 45 45 we ready prepare and sanding to be the consistent like ice cream eh? There is everywhere.
In the end, our sleeve was so precise that it enabled us to glue the boom together in a very straight line. You push the other side. Okay, I push. I push. Bye, go. Wait, 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 wait. I don't hold. Go. Yes, go, 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 go. Set. Come here with the hammer. I go. It's perfect. We can do a little bit more, it's more long, the boom is better. Set. The other one is Lee, eh? Yeah. A little bit. Make it more long. As you'll know if you've been watching our channel, we finally relaunched MV back in September. Since then, we've been living on board and still working our way through a to-do list of things we'd like to have done before we set sail from Fiji. You like, eh? With no feet on the ground Ain't in such a sight to see Watch the city we go. We've still got heaps of material to share with you all from pre and post launch jobs but soon we also want to make a video to give you a glimpse of life on board and to talk about our future plans and which direction we hope to be heading in. We'd love to hear from you in the comments if you have anything in particular you'd like to see. And uh, from this beautiful uh, environment, we want to say thank you to our first 5,000 subscribers. Yeah! Uh, thank you to every our Patreon. They are not many, they are very good, but uh, we wish uh, if you are enjoyed to watch our video, you can support us a little bit. Uh, yeah, we want to say also thanks. We've got two new Patreons over the last couple of months. One was And. And the other is Anna. Thank you, thank you Anna and Anna. And uh, thank you to everybody. And is from Sweden. And in 2009, he bought a 38-foot flush deck one-off expedition steel boat, which he set sail on later the same year, direction south. A few years later, found him sailing in Antarctica, as well as visiting places like Chile, the Falklands and Argentina. Finally arriving back to Sweden in 2016 without boat. He now owns, in his own words, what he calls a simple plastic 30-footer on the Swedish west coast, which he calls a living boat project. Anna is a good friend of ours from Fiji, who has a very successful boat brokerage company out here, which is focused on the Blue Water Cruises and Liverpool community. Anna has always been super supportive of us. Thanks so much to both of you, Anna and And. Your support really means a lot. Maybe for somebody it's not uh, clear to understand what they mean to be one Patreon. I mean only support our video, our job to produce video can take a long time. In some video is many days of work. And uh, with uh, one uh, coffee with uh, $5, $2.50 for video. That's uh, give to us a uh, little bit uh, to support our job and uh, it uh, also stimulate us to continue to do this work. Uh, we really believe it can be nice uh, for uh, everybody. Another way that you could support us if you're enjoying these videos is if you could share them with your friends. Um, if every one of you managed to subscribe one other person for us, that would double our numbers. I guess that would help us a lot. Thank you.
Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, remember to comment uh, if you want to post to us some uh, question or if you want to uh, we follow uh, your refitting, your job, uh, contact us. Uh, and also for the Patreon, remember you can also come to sailing with us. Yeah. Uh, you are very welcome. We built one big uh, sailing boat with uh, plenty pipe berth, uh, double berth uh, bed for uh, sailing and uh, be enjoyed with our uh, Patreon friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come to sailing with us. Ciao. Ciao. Here's to the one I love the most Haunts me like a ghost My shelter, my harbor and storms Will our love keep me warm? Mm-hmm. <laughs>